Honesty, dishonesty. Have you ever been lied to? I'm sure you have. Have you ever lied to someone else? I'm sure you've done that too. We all can't be like George Washington and be completely honest, although I doubt if he was. But that's the story they told us in school. Is that some programming? Maybe. <laughs> He cut the apple tree down and he couldn't tell a lie and he told his dad that, yeah, he cut the apple tree down. But it's disappointing when you trust someone, especially if you have somewhat of a relationship with someone, whether it be an intimate relationship, a business relationship, or maybe a relationship between your children. And they lie to you. You can kind of expect kids to lie to you because they're still learning. They're learning what is good, what's bad, what helps them, what hurts them. And if a person grows up in a life of dishonesty and they see their parents doing that, then they learn that this is the way the world works. And there is some benefit to being dishonest at certain times for a while until you learn that whatever you put out there comes back to you multiplied. If you lie to others, you will be lied to by others. That's just the way it works. You cannot achieve something for nothing. You can't gain someone's trust by being dishonest because eventually they will figure it out. As I said, it may work for a while, but in the end, it comes back like a boomerang to destroy you. And what generally happens is someone who you trust the most will lie to you. And then you feel the pain, the disappointment, that you've caused others. And is this punishment from God? No, it's not. It's the way we are made to teach us what works in life and what doesn't work in life. Were it not for this discomfort or this suffering or pain that we experience when someone we trust or love lies to us, we would never know what it's like for the other person and we would continue to be dishonest and lie because it does work sometimes for a while. Now, am I telling you to never tell a lie? No, now if, the, if it was World War II and the Nazis came here and I had Jewish people hiding in the basement, would I say, yeah, I got four of them down there. Just go on down and get them. No, I would probably lie to save their lives. So there is some discernment required here. Another example would be when a person goes into the hospital and the doctor discovers they have cancer and they tell that person that they have six months to live. Now, that's what the facts say. But how many times have people been told they have six months to live and they live many years afterwards? So would he be lying if he didn't tell them that? If he told them <clears throat> that they have a chance? that it's not a death sentence, but too many times that's what doctors tell people because that's what the facts say. The cancer was created within that person, by that person, through some experience, through some outer things, through some inner things. I don't really know how all that works, but if some people can survive a death sentence from a doctor, then other people can too. There was a gentleman that lived by me when I was young he was diagnosed with cancer, had about six months, a year to live. He lived 10 years. So would that be wrong if the doctor told them something other than what the facts and the test told them to give them the opportunity to believe that they could live? Well, the doctor has to make that decision, not me or you. But you get the point that I'm making. So in general, though, honesty is the best policy. Think about that. Take care.